blah 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 disclaimer stuff I don't know if you've read it before but like it's here anyway yada yada okay on with the video now Alright Hello again folks I've just realised that we have a little side quest <laughs> Yes I've literally just noticed So it's so, okay. so we last left off just, You're just a bit vision impaired without your glasses How come the glasses on? Oh yeah Oh actually yeah you were vision impaired with your glasses. <laughs> no, I just don't really think I've been paying that much attention. Yeah. Take your curse. Uh huh. A new hint is available. Awesome. Sweet. Inside. Don't dead open inside. Oh my god! Yeah. So what do you actually think to us just having unlimited power? It's, job done. it's fun. And <laughs> to be fair, still doesn't make the game any less. Well, it makes the game easier as hell, but you still gotta go through a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, you still gotta go through it all. What do you think the speed run record is? Not that we're aiming for that, we're just, you know, accurate. Yeah, I'm just trying to. Just trying to figure out the best way or try and actually figure out where I need to go. Reach my channel. Bring back the wallet to its own. John, ranks. We need you. To eat the people. Yeah, why not? To be fair, I haven't actually showcased the ultimate ability either, have I? White Chapel. Nope. This neighborhood is linked somehow to the kind Lady Ashbury's blackmail. First, let's find this Petrescu fellow. Sir, I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for Nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now, goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite, sir. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. Maybe I could start by observing what he's up to. Yeah. 
strange man was at the door with the pass for our medical facility. I refused him entry. Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? His clothes were too finely tailored to be for Whitechapel. Perhaps just a friend of that stray poet who is always about. Richard Nidacott? No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? Yes. I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. I swear he is tracking me just downwind. How the hell did he hear that from that far away? I must talk to that journalist or the poet. That? They must know about Darius. Nearby the church they just mentioned. I heard the motley crew in vampire healing. Why did you make Sarah Scottish? Forgive my interruption. Do not apologize, my son. Father Tobias Whitaker is always happy to teach mortals about the incoming Armageddon. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, and I just have a few questions. A scientist? You are much more lost than I thought, my son. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. I don't like the liberal ideas of nurses, but I especially abhor that Nurse Crane you mentioned. Why do you hate Nurse Crane more than other nurses? Before coming to London, she was a member of the communist resistance in her country. Oh, no, not communist. That's what happens when you let a woman get involved in politics. So, you're not exactly a fan of Florence Nightingale's work. But nurses are essential for modern oh, healthcare. Lord. Nuns should be the I only women allowed friends. to take care of male patients. It's obvious only they have the necessary moral fiber. I have heard enough for tonight. Goodbye. Oh, he wasn't even someone I needed to actually talk to. Oh, that's a douchebag. Ah, there you are. The wars of men cannot be your main concern. Excuse me, sir. Are you familiar with this part of town? Name's Clayton Darby, reporter. Sorry, I'm new to Whitechapel. But perhaps you could help me since you're a journalist. My name is Jonathan Reed. Dr. Reed, the famous surgeon. I'll gladly help if I'm able, sir. I heard you're investigating an underground medical dispensary in Whitechapel. What do you know about it? Not much, I'm afraid. They are weary of strangers, and I'm not really an acquaintance of theirs. Why do you care? I'm a doctor, Mr. Darby. I care about everything involving public health and this epidemic. Are you sure you're not just concerned oh, dear, about the repercussions so that a scandal involving a certain nurse crane from the Pembroke Hospital would bring? Without a doubt, you are a damn fine journalist, Mr. Darby. What do you know of her accomplice, a man named Darius? I don't know much about the man. He's very cautious, never goes out, doesn't seem to have any friends or family. He never goes out? No. A few days ago, he unexpectedly did. I followed him, but it was just a ruse to keep me away from his house. Really? How do you know? He went to the nearest mailbox, but just before posting his letter, he ripped it up and threw it away. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Farewell. I still find it funny every single time I look at... Um... Um, every single time I see that health. Hmm. Plus I think they also get like more in 
more um, items because technically the enemies are getting somewhat stronger. Hmm. That might just be me. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions. Please be my guest. Although I may not be the best informant regarding this part of town, my words speak about that which the eyes cannot see. Really? Are you an artist of some kind? I'm a poet, sir. Richard Nithercott, at your service. May I ask you a few questions about the district? Extraordinary part of town, is it not? I'll be glad to help you, if I can. What can you tell me about an old man called Darius? Darius Petrescu? Yes, I know him. At first, I thought he was only a small publisher. I invited him to publish my work, but his reaction was pretty clear. Not interested in your talent? Darius is an old political activist who takes delight in printing tracts and lampoons. Lampoon. Those communist activities only lampoon. require mediocre writing skills. Let's Google, let's Google it. What's a lampoon? I oh, know he's got a Christmas vacation. I'll leave you alone, sir. Funny. Funny joke. Oh, dear. More yet. The content of Darius' letter to his children could give me more leverage to enter. Mm -hmm. Darius is a bit less of a mystery now. It should not be that difficult to incite him to let me in. I know Nurse Crane is here. Shall we speak man to man, you and I? <laughs> All right. Speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. I'm nothing like you, Mr. Doctor. Yes, you are. You too believe in providing medical care without charge. You know what we have to sacrifice to make the world a better place. I have to admit your words have conviction. All right, I'll let you see Dorothea. Don't make me regret this, though. Van Vassily, high fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, and head pain, diagnosed with influenza. Treatment? Aspirin and salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration, but he's having trouble keeping even water down. Aspirin and salicin, you say? Why not some warm milk and a kiss on the cheek? Where are the quinine salts? Tried buying, borrowing, even stealing. There's none to be found, Doctor. He's not convulsing, he's choking. He's not getting any air. Scalpel, hand me that scalpel. 
What can I do, Doctor? It's too dangerous to operate with these convulsions. Sedative, nurse. Do we have any anesthetics? I'm sorry, Doctor. None at all. I do have this trap. <laughs> <laughs> I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe. That rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, Doctor. He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. A thoracostomy. Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Right then, that's Crane. What do you suggest we do? I've no idea. I'm not the doctor. Time is of the essence. We need to perform a thoracic drain. Yes, doctor. Oh. I'd really He's like still bleeding, doctor. Trying I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. Are you all right, Doctor? I... I can't see. I must... first suture the artery. Find the wound. The source of the blood. Needle and thread, right, Doctor? You've succeeded, you? Good. The stitches are holding. How's he doing? We're losing him. We've lost his pulse. He's dying, Doctor! A dose of epinephrine, now. Yes, Doctor. We've lost the pulse. He, he's gone, Doctor. Yes, we did everything we could. Truly? Everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went, piling up one poor corpse beside the next? This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions. Something... primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... Such long cuttings. It's like they took a page out of Belgium. I'd best take some soldier. samples of the blood for analysis. At least you can take more than four steps. <laughs> Sure, it's just my bedside manners. Dana, don't it? <laughs> I'll never, I'll never get out of that one. Mm. It's locked. <laughs> I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. Yes. So, <laughs> how might I be of service, Doctor Reed? I've come to put an end to this insufferable blackmailing, Dorothy. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime, and it will stop, Nurse Crane. So... Are you going to turn me over to the authorities? No. Your place is here. Jailing you would be an even greater crime. 
So? Here is my proposition. I'll look the other way on your little enterprise. In exchange, you will resign from the Pembroke Hospital and provide me with medical supplies when the need arises. Dr. Reed, that sounds like a business proposition. My accomplice, then. No, just a privileged client. My research may require the occasional rare piece of equipment or ingredient. I'll pay good coin in exchange, fair and honest, to help finance your noble endeavors. We have ourselves a deal, Doctor. I can't remember if this... Good customers are always welcome. Yes, but depending on that's if great. you did more good or more bad, we have a deal. it depends on if you look more so like... Yeah. Monstrous or more human. Yeah, I think your eyes change Man color. versus beast. Is that on there or was that a kid? No, it's not here. What is this? This one will go! Fucking piece of shit! Let's change up a little bit. Let's. Let's go with. What do you think? Let's go con calculation. Don't come closer. Come closer. Hmm. Can we fast travel in this game? No. So, but you need to get to a certain point. Maybe. Me, yeah, I can't remember either. So, we want to go straight down here. Did you look like? I just don't like the cool. Well. Human blood. Whoever left these marks did so. Kill him, boy! That was it, spring. Auto feed. I don't know what that tasty tasty Doki doki. <laughs> tasty tasty doki doki. Doki oh. doki vampire club. <laughs> don't give them ideas. That would be weird. Like Dan Silva auto made a vampire again. That would be weird. <laughs> I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. I thought feeding was supposed to make you less angry. 
You killed him. He trusted you. And you killed him. Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. We are vampires. We live by leeching the blood from weaker prey. We are Darwin's next chapter. His cynical and perhaps ultimate expression. The situation is somewhat awkward nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say I'm a trifle I embarrassed. Like anyway, embarrassed. I have concluded my like inquiries concerning your blackmailer. Hmm. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Here are many Under normal circumstances, are, like, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. I must confess I have not put an end to the blackmail, my lady. Unfortunately, I could not but, yeah, bring the, myself you know, to do transcendental it. Theory, but, I'm like, so disappointed yeah. in you, Jonathan. I didn't expect this from you. Like, oh, lady yeah, yeah, Ashbury, yeah, you yourself yeah. admitted how ridiculous the sum of money was. I can assure you it was all used for charitable ends. Well, you are full of surprises, aren't you, Jonathan? All right? Say I trust you. But you will still pay the ransom. That is only fair. After all, it was you who failed to bring this problem to a satisfactory conclusion. I believe I could agree to that. And since a lady always keeps her promises, I will now answer any questions you may have. I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Is this some kind of insanity? It feels like the voice of the vampire that created me. Hush. Tell no one this. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. You managed to cuss him out, How could this cause offense? Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their progeny. No vampire or hunter will sleep easy knowing that an unidentified elder is stalking the streets of London. This came, man. Could all be in the taxi driver. I bid you farewell. For now, my lady. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. What's that? <laughs> I said it was came, man. Could all being a taxi driver in LA. Hmm. What is Jack? Like in Vampire Masquerade. He must be someone quite powerful. Like what clan, you mean? No, he must be just someone powerful. Yeah, that's a good point actually. It's not really explained outside of he's just a profile that just happens to know you. That's a good point. Like what generation is Jack? Aha, I've stumped you. I had to think for a second then when you turn around and said Jack. <laughs> I was like, what Jack are we talking about? <laughs> I know two vampire Jacks. <laughs> Sun going down is supposed to get colder or colder. What is the sun? Razvan Vasily was infected by Spanish flu, but also has the highly unstable blood of the skulls. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? I should talk to Dr. Swansea about that. Oh, article of, on Econs. Evening, Edgar. Could I get your professional opinion? Please speak. But I have something important to tell you. Oh, this lamping. strain of flu. It's Publicly very different from the one I saw in Europe. Someone or something it's by downright peculiar. Peculiar. 
ridicule, irony, really? or sarcasm. What makes you say so that? So it's basically roasting someone. Yeah. You're you the roast. <laughs> I've just looked at the blood of one of our recently deceased. I see. Do you have anything more to go on? This disease spreads and looks like the Spanish flu, but its effects differ greatly. The London strain is different from the continental one. This is very interesting. Did you find something else? Yes. Unlike the flu, the infected begin to show an increase in outwardly aggressive behavior. More than simple agitation. Once docile people become violent. You mean like rabies? Is there a chance we could create a vaccine, Jonathan, like Pasteur? By the stove, that would be smashing. There's a lot we're not seeing here. But it is spreading, and quickly. If we don't act, the whole city could be lost. But Jonathan, we've a fantastic opportunity sitting right here in front of us. A weapon of choice. What on earth do you mean? Why you, my dear boy? With your expertise and your blood, we could isolate the properties that course through your veins. Think about the possibilities. I admit it did occur to me. Blood seems to be the common factor in all of this. I totally agree. We're in uncharted territory here. Maybe it's just wishful thinking, but imagine the possibilities. We'll discuss this more later. Thank you for your time. No, thank you, Jonathan. But as I said, I needed to talk to you. I have some rather bad news. Yes? I'm afraid it's your sister. My sister? She's to be buried this evening at Whitechapel Cemetery. Your mother published the obituary this morning. I see. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Please accept my condolences. Uh. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Don't do that. I know it's hot. But like, come on, you got this. Live. Mm. Got the sushi was yet. Breathe with me, PlayStation. Breathe with I me. I never thought I would have to attend my murdered sister's funeral. It's okay. Mary. Just a couple I of minutes. I can't forgive myself. So. I'll find the truth about what happened to her. Oh, okay, it's not that bad. I swear. Yes. part of the rec room thing. It's basically like a really small piece of like the city that's basically made hunting grounds. Come on. Come on. My dear sister. No. Hmm. I don't know if I have the strength. Come, Come on. Come on. Behave yourself, please. Yeah, my citizens. 
Just a couple more minutes. Come on, you got this, I know. Well, I'll just save the citizen first. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> Happy time. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Sorry about this, folks. Are you alright? Yeah. I, I, I don't know what's going on with this. I'm Who assuming it's for its they, they, they wanted to kill me. Why? They've lost their minds in the epidemic. They won't come back for now. You seem to know a lot about them, sir. Um, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Yeah. I'm investigating back. this disease. I am Shaoshun. Thank you so much for helping me, Mr. Reed. I must go to the cemetery now. Goodbye. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought that was a uh... thing. Bye. It's locked. No. How could you do this? The first, it's locked. <laughs> This is despicable. How did they dodge all the scowls, is my question. Here's a question of the night for you. Since I uh, can't is, reveal myself to my mother death. now, I must find a discreet spot to attend the ceremony. Come on. <laughs> live, live. <laughs> I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Stick her here in this cold, god awful place. <laughs> These are the legal requirements for the epidemic, man. Oh, Avery, I feel so tired. Please take me home. Yes, madam. <sighs> we are all dust into the dust, we shall return. What's the rest of the what's the rest of it by the way? <laughs> oh Mary. What have I done? Mary, Mary, quite contrary. <laughs> if I could only change one. One thing. This is a nightmare. Jonathan, there is nothing you can do but accept it. What brings you here? I thought you could use the company. I am so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. I wish the tears would come, but I'm empty, and I feel a hypocrite. Let your pain run free, Jonathan. Don't smother it. What you feel is your humanity, 
Don't be so quick to lose it. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me. And it led to her death. The wrong Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head. Her mind shattered. And... And it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. Hmm. What do you think? I'm learning. Every night is a new lesson. What I am. What I must do to survive. But my sister... She shouldn't have suffered because of my weakness. Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies. Feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve. And the guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here. To warn me. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends. Loved ones I cherished. Pray for Mary's forgiveness, if you must. Thank you, my lady. I will. Good. But be careful. If I found you here, others may too. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I do, then. St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and make your peace. Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. something that comes up so did you want to end it here or are you good we'll reach the church yeah yeah unless it's later on i'm thinking of <laughs> yeah we'll get to the church and leave it there yeah. Consent to lick the blood from the soft and pointy crown. Who are you? Make yourself known. Newborn, you reek of guilt and pointless compassion. Shed your skin. Forget your old, weaker self. What do you want from me? Ascalon does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon? <laughs> Ascalon's will is vampire law. Learn them, abide by them, or I shall return as your judge and jury. I don't know why he keeps jumping like that. Hmm. These immortals try my patience with their plans and unsolicited counsel. This man his crucifix. Snap it, and this is not good news. Tastes like water. Tastes like what? Tastes like water. I always said tastes like water. Yeah. Water. No, oil. Just oil. Pure oil. <laughs> what makes it crude? Does it have a bad sense of humour or something? 
Did you want to leave it here then? Yeah, sure. All right then. All right. We're going to call ourselves off, and the console didn't call itself off, and we will see you in a future video then, yeah? Alright, ciao. Right. Bye.